Hey guys, thanks for joining us. This is Scottsdale, Arizona, a video, a full city tour video of one of the best cities in all of the United States of America, Scottsdale, Arizona. We're standing right here in front of the airport where you can fly in privately, one of the busiest private airports actually in all the country. And why don't you get on your jet, fly into Scottsdale, give us a call, and we'll take you on a tour. Or you can just watch our video and it'll be like you're right here really trying to do this video and my man is just being really loud back there oh or you can just watch our video and get the same value out of it so come on guys let's check out scottsdale right now let's go okay guys we are driving through south scottsdale right now on our way into Old Town Scottsdale. And as you can see, a lot of these townhomes and condos and even single family homes were developed in the 70s primarily. Obviously there were some a little earlier, some just after the 70s, but you have a good mixture of properties that have been redeveloped as well as commercial properties like some of these buildings you're seeing. But you have single family homes like this on the right hand side that are obviously older that are still worth a good amount of money right now just because of the location. I mean, you are a bike ride right into one of the most dynamic entertainment districts in all of the United States of America, which is Old Town Scottsdale that we're approaching right now. Oh, by the way, when I was a little younger, I loved going to the dynamic entertainment district. <laughs> but now I'm just, I'm too old, but it was fun for a while. guys you have one of the smaller golf courses in South Scottsdale it's actually a par 3 golf course which is kind of cool because you just don't get a lot of that in Scottsdale you know they have so many amazing resort style courses and desert courses that are very expensive so to play that one's actually a little refreshing sometimes if you just want to have a good time you know doing the par 3 thing and actually maybe walking the course so as an example some friends of mine used to do an event on the master's day weekend which is awesome they go to the par 3 course and you can only choose three clubs to play with that's it for the entire round of golf on the par 3 course so you had to strategically choose what you felt were the best options to try to score the lowest score in golf of course with just three clubs so if you haven't tried that before wherever you located guys try it trust me it is awesome we call it trunk slammers because you know we're just a bunch of hacks went out there slamming our trunks after we the back of golf clubs in there so that's a blast that's a good time at that course okay guys we are now entering old town scottsdale this is Drinkwater boulevard the main artery that runs through old town scottsdale going north and south is of course scottsdale road but we're going to turn here on drink water and this is a famous saguaro hotel here on the right hand side coming up right here with the dynamic funky colors that everyone loves that would be definitely an hoa violation in most neighborhoods but not here it is awesome you got the civic center coming up here we're going under the bridge and right to the left you have another spring training facility for major league baseball and this is the san francisco giants home stadium for spring training which is just awesome you can go here catch a game right up here on the left hand side as we approach the lights you can see it you can go catch a game and then literally walk to a restaurant a bar you know whatever it is right afterwards it's phenomenal it's such a fun time and the weather is just perfect in march beautiful that is the scottsdale stadium home of the san francisco giants then you have medical so right here on the right hand side you have scottsdale honor health which is a very large i think trauma one hospital right here so if you're living in old town scottsdale you are just minutes away from one of the best hospitals in the state right here on campus here on the, the right hand side all right 
right, guys, you have the uh, famous Chaparral Park right here, which is huge. And as you can see, enormous lake. It has soccer fields, baseball fields, football, flag football, grilling, picnic tables, tents, etc. So a little bit of everything. You can fish in that lake as well. So it is just a, a nice a nice park for residents of Scottsdale to come visit, as well as sports leagues. You know, a lot of kids' leagues play down here for baseball, soccer, football, etc., as well as adult leagues for softball and things of that nature as well. So just a real nice area of town right in the central Scottsdale. Now in Central Scottsdale you have, in South Scottsdale, you have basically three different high schools. You have Arcadia High School, which is a larger high school. You have Coronado High School, which is a very small high school that used to be one of those high schools that was like the main high school uh, in Scottsdale prior to the population growth. And then up here on the right-hand side, you have Saguaro High School, which is a larger high school as well. They're very good in sports, actually. <music> Okay guys, now as we make our way into central Scottsdale, we're going through the heart of one of the major master plan communities in central Scottsdale, which is called McCormick Ranch. This is one of the top five neighborhoods in Scottsdale. So if you didn't have a chance, please go back and watch the video that we did, which is called the top five neighborhoods in Scottsdale, Arizona. But this is one of them. It is awesome. We're gonna turn in here. They have a bunch of shopping and dining within McCormick Ranch and it is just outstanding. Developed in the 70s and 80s, this is a very cool place to live. guys and right here is the amazing Scottsdale trolley we'll honk to him Woo! Um, that is awesome so Scottsdale trolley they uh, they run routes through mainly Old Town Scottsdale but they do come up to central Scottsdale as you can see and they're actually free rides so it does not even cost anything Scottsdale is so awesome they don't even charge for their trolley system so really cool really really cool and to give a shout out honk to my trolley driver there Hopefully he thought I wasn't like being mean or mad at him about anything. He was driving perfectly. Okay, this place is amazing. You got medieval times. You can go there. You can grab some good food, a dinner, and watch a live jostling match between two amazing nights of the round table. Okay, the round table part I probably made up. They're probably just nights, but it sounds cooler if they're part of the round table. So, great place to go, medieval times. Okay guys, so we are swinging by the Odyssey Aquarium. This is the Arizona Boardwalk area of Central Scottsdale. You have the Butterfly Wonderland right here, as you can see, as well as the amazing Odyssey Aquarium. Now guys, I've been to several Odyssey Aquariums in my life, and I gotta tell you, this, is, this one is up there. I don't know where it ranks, but this one is up there. It is very cool. When you are washing your hands in the bathroom, you can see sharks right i mean they're right in front of you it's awesome and they have this theater that rotates 360 degrees where you can and it stops in quarters quarter sections right what's that 90 degrees each and you can see a tank full of maybe some seals then it rotates a tank full of oh uh, i don't know um octopus and and other fish another tank full of sharks and it's just really really cool
over here on the right hand side you can see talking stick fields these are actually the spring training fields for two professional baseball teams the arizona diamondbacks and the colorado rockies it is an amazing facility with multiple baseball fields and of course the main baseball field they play the games at right in the middle there you can also see off in the distance great wolf lodge which is just an outstanding resort hotel with an indoor water park and slides families kids love it great for birthday parties things of that nature especially in the summertime when it's you know very hot outside and then you have iFly indoor skydiving you know i always wanted to do skydiving that was actually a goal of mine but then i had kids and now i don't know so now i get an indoor skydive and i'm still petrified i'm scared to death but it was it was awesome if you haven't tried indoor skydiving, you should come to Scottsdale just for that. It is amazing. All right, guys, so we now are on Shea Boulevard, which is the number one busiest artery that runs east and west through Scottsdale. Right here, you have another hospital, Honor Health. That's one of the big uh, hospital systems in Scottsdale. My three kids actually were all born right there. I live very close, and you have a green belt down here. See that green belt that runs through the campus of uh, Honor Health? The cool part is that green belt extends for, I'm not sure exactly how many miles, but I want to say it's like well over 20 or 30 miles. It goes right through the heart of Scottsdale, running north-south, and it's awesome. You can walk, you can run, you can ride bikes down there, and it's all green and lush the entire year. So being in the desert, that's kind of cool. You don't see that in most places, so pretty, pretty cool. So we're rolling down Shea Boulevard. You see a lot of shops, commercial activity, and of course you have three lanes on both sides as this really runs pretty quick through the east-west sections of Scottsdale. So Scottsdale Ranch, guys, is one of the uh, master plan communities in central Scottsdale, which is really nice. It has a man-made lake, Lake Serena that is very large and so if you want to live on water there's only a few places you can do it mccormick ranch is one of them that we obviously referenced already and scottsdale ranch is another and here's a shot of the lake as one one section of it right there pretty cool you have some really large single family homes on the water as well as some townhome communities on the water also so you get a little bit of everything you know because the townhomes are going to obviously be a little cheaper so that's good for your budget if you still want to be on water, but don't want to have a large single family home. Okay guys, this is the Mercado at Scottsdale Ranch. This is their you know, shopping and dining within the Scottsdale Ranch community. That is really cool. We are actually going to check out my favorite coffee shop in Phoenix, Scottsdale area. It's called Crave Grounds, and my wife and I and family absolutely love it. My wife and I love the coffee. They do this blend of like three different South American coffee beans, which is just outstanding. And my kids love it because they have mini donuts, and these mini donuts are awesome. Oat milk. I thought you said goat milk. <laughs> yeah, I specifically I was like, want goat milk. Hey, I don't want I don't want goat milk. My kids would kill me if I had these and they didn't get me. <laughs> Never had a dirty chai latte. That's pretty good. I didn't even know it made it dirty. But now I know. It's gonna be great. Their coffee's awesome. It's good? You like it? Is that what you got? I got Good choice. <laughs> Love it. You got oat milk, you got oat powder. Oh, premium oatmeal. I guess I'm missing out on the oat craze. I need to get with it. That's what this YouTube channel is. So what's the, the, uh, the owner? What's his name again? Jim? Jim, yeah. So our, our kids used to go to the same preschool. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why. Awesome. I, so, so I was one of the first guys who first ever came here when he first opened up, right? Yeah, nice guy, real nice guy. Oh, so this is mine right here? 
Uh, dirty chai. I'm excited about this. Thank you. Cheers. That's the whew. mom and pop store. Support them. Gasol, Arizona. 85258 right here. So right over here, guys, you have Cactus Park, which is another awesome park, and Aquatic Center. So for those of you who like swimming, you have the Aquatic Park there. You can go there and just pay $3 if you're not a member and swim as long as you would like. Otherwise, you can get a uh, membership. I'm not sure the exact same cost of that, but it's a great aquatic center. Then right here, you have the Jewish Community Center here at Scottsdale, which is a extremely nice facility. They hold basketball leagues for you know intramural adults and all kinds of stuff that, that you can do if you're not obviously a member or, or Jewish. But if you are, certainly it's a phenomenal facility. I've been there many times because we play basketball there and some other adult rec league stuff. Just a really nice facility, outdoor swimming as well and uh, just a really nice overall facility for anyone who may want to join that. Okay guys so we are approaching the Scottsdale Kirlin area as well as the Scottsdale Quarter area. They're pretty much all the same thing. Kirlin's on the west side of Scottsdale Road and Scottsdale Quarter, as you can see at the sign right there, is on the east side of Scottsdale Road. Scottsdale Quarter is a little bit newer. Kirlin was there first, but in terms of a shopping area district, I mean, it's just absolutely hard to beat. These are all outdoor shopping, like the old school strip mall. This is now the modern old school strip mall. You have parking garages, so parking is, is all free. It's very convenient. And just some really nice restaurants and shops up and down the Scottsdale Quarter and Kirlin area. You also have office space on the second and third floors of most of these structures and you also have apartment living here as well so right here you have a you know an amazon book store you have culinary dropout which is just an absolutely amazing restaurant there's too many to name in here and then above here on the second third fourth fifth sixth floors you have apartment living luxury apartment living it's just a really nice area to walk around to get just about anything you could want from upscale dining to some quick food at a burger shop to coffee to smoothies to froyo and uh, like I said, just about everything in between. The shopping is great as well. You got a wine room here. We actually know the owners very well of Sorcel Wine Room. Okay guys, so we are now entering the Kirlin Shopping Center, which is right across from the Scottsdale Corridor District, which is again located in the north central part of Scottsdale. And again, you're just going to be hard pressed to find any place nicer when it comes to an outdoor shopping district like Kirlin and Scottsdale Corridor. Okay guys, and as we exit the Kirlin shopping era, you have the AC Hotels right there by Marriott, and then you have the Westin Resort. This resort right here is, I mean, just amazing. The golf course is phenomenal. The Kirlin Westin golf course is a resort course, so it's a really nice course, and it's a little bit easier to play, but it's still challenging. And uh, you have a lazy river there, and just the facilities are, are fantastic for anyone coming from out of state or for somebody who wants to do a staycation. And then off here on the left-hand side, you have the Optima Kirlin. This is a extremely nice development. You probably saw earlier in the video, the Optima Camel View. Those are actually the same developers and builders of both projects, as you could probably tell, with the all glass and the balconies, a very contemporary look. Those units range from about a million up to several million based upon what level you're on and how big your unit is. And then of course the penthouse suites are just outstanding. You have some miniature golf right here for anyone coming in from out of state. Cracker Jacks, you have a batting cage, you have go-karts, you have a driving range there. It's not quite top golf, 
that was before Top Golf's time, but people actually still do use it, believe it or not, to practice their golf game. All right, guys, on the right-hand side, this is the Fairmont Princess Scottsdale Resort. It's a five diamond resort, and it sits on the TPC Scottsdale Golf Course, and it has a relationship with the golf course. And the TPC Golf Course, guys, is where, of course, the greatest show on grass takes place every February called the Waste Management Phoenix Open. The PGA Tour obviously runs that event, and you know some of the best golfers in the entire world come every February to, to play golf in that tournament. And it is awesome, guys. It's always Super Bowl weekend, that first weekend of February, typically. And if you have not had a chance to go see the Phoenix Open in February when the weather is gorgeous, you need to do that. Guys, it is basically like a party that just happens to have a golf tournament taking place. <laughs> it's like nothing else on the PGA Tour. So definitely a cool place to check out. Okay guys, we are heading into the Scottsdale Air Park, which is a huge business district and outside of the downtown Phoenix, the number one job employment center in the entire valley. Okay guys, we are rolling through one of Scottsdale's top five neighborhoods again, and this is Greyhawk. Greyhawk was developed in the late 1990s, a master plan community with two golf courses, the Talon course and the Raptor course. And it has, again, just about a little bit of everything. It has elementary schools, it has houses, condos, it has townhouses, it has luxury homes, semi-custom and fully custom homes, a little bit of everything, and it is located perfectly just north of the 101 loop so you have easy access to the east valley or the west valley it's basically sandwiched right in the middle almost Okay guys, that is DC Ranch. We are gonna head north. We are in North Scottsdale now at this time. And North Scottsdale is awesome, guys. North Scottsdale has a good mixture. It has some master plan communities like Greyhawk and DC Ranch that we just passed. It also is very cool because it is very discreet. So once you start getting into North Scottsdale, the city of Scottsdale, being the fact that most of it was developed later, obviously, as opposed to South Scottsdale and Central Scottsdale, they enacted a law called NAOS, Natural Area Open Space. So they are in an, in an attempt to preserve the natural Sonoran desert landscape. Most communities in North Scottsdale, not all, but most actually have to preserve that look in their front yards and throughout the community. So that being said, you can typically do whatever you want in the backyard of your home in terms of landscaping if you want to put you know grass down or you know a pool or whatever you want to do but in the front yard you in most cases you cannot touch what is already there in terms of the natural sonoran desert cacti desert trees certain rock that sort of stuff so very interesting now the other thing about north scottsdale is a lot of it is a dark sky community there are hardly any street lights throughout most of the communities. They're very minimal. And so at night, when you drive through North Scottsdale, you're going to really have a good look at the, uh, the sky, the stars, and not be affected by light pollution as you would in most cities. So kind of a cool thing they did. So if you like that kind of thing, North Scottsdale will definitely be for you. And the further north you go, the more of that you're going to get.
Okay guys, now we are in the Troon area and Troon North area that we're gonna drive through here. And you can see in the distance, Troon Mountain with all those rock formations and boulders. It is a really cool mountain. There are some great features up here. You also have Pinnacle Peak Mountain, which is right over here to the left-hand side. As you can see through the trees right there, Pinnacle Peak is the mountain that has that very unique rock formation at the very top of the mountain. It's a great hike too. There's a very popular trail that you can hike up Pinnacle Peak and it's actually not very hard at all. So kids and families and things of that nature, you can definitely hike to the top of Pinnacle Peak and have a phenomenal view of the rest of the valley looking down south or north whichever way you want to look. Up in Troon, you're gonna have a good mixture of a lot of different types of, of housing. You have Desert Highlands, and you have Pinnacle, and Candlewood, and all these different subdivisions, but most of them are gonna be more on the high end. You're gonna have luxury single family homes throughout most of Troon. Now you do have one country club up here, it's called Troon Country Club. No one really talks about that much. It's kind of a hidden little secret because it's not as expensive as some of the more popular country clubs up in this area in North Scottsdale, like Estancia and Whisper Rock. That being said, you also have two public, extremely nice courses, guys. One is called Pinnacle, and the other one's called The Monument, and they're called True North Golf Club, but they're public. Now, they're, this time of year when it's hot, you might be able to play those courses for 60 or 70 bucks, which is actually very, very, very cheap. But in the seasonal time, January, February, March, you're probably looking more on lines of about $300 for a round of golf at True North. So, but guys, I'm telling you, if you like golf, it's worth it to at least play it one time, at least one time, because they are phenomenal desert courses. Hey guys, thank you for uh, watching our video uh, of the Scottsdale, Arizona Full City Tour. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, guys, we're putting out videos twice a week, every Tuesday and Thursday, because we're passionate. We're just passionate about helping people know more about our wonderful city of the greater Phoenix area. You can call us at any time at 888-KCREG11. That's 888-527-3411. And again, email if you'd like to as well, info at kellycookhomes.com. But please feel free to comment below. We'd love to hear what you think of this video or any other videos that we've done, and we will be sure to reply right away. And always, too, hop on over to our Instagram page. Our IG handle is at Kelly Cook Real Estate Group and see what else we have going on with our real estate team. So thank you again, guys, for joining our video here at Scottsdale where we discuss everything Phoenix on our YouTube channel, Everything Phoenix. And we'll be in touch on the next one. Take care.